Hey all, Joe here with All Funnies and Games, and today... Ba -ba! Another new box from Silverbeam. <laughs> so, I got the email that said your package is on the way, which I was excited about. I was a little bit worried what with the world being awful right now. So I had the email saying, hey, package is on the way. I did not get the email I usually get telling me what's going to be in it or what to expect. So this is going to be a surprise for me. Yeah, they ain't skimping on my paper. Woo. All right, what else is in here? Got the floor tiles. Again, got a set of three floor tiles. Maybe no walls in this one. That might be what isn't in this one. Well, there's two sheets of something. Interesting. More paper! Alright. So we have a, a Ziploc bag and some floor tiles and then some letters. This month's theme was bards! Oh, that is super cool. Okay, one of my favorite characters I played was a bard. And I normally... I, I can't even say normally anymore. Back in the day, I played barbarians a lot. And I've been trying out other things just to play with the, uh, the character archetypes. But my favorite character I've ever played was a bard who felt kind of barbarian-y. Uh, he was a half-orc bard, and he had been the war drummer for his clan of orcish seafaring pirates. Um, and so he was like a signalman, you know, on a drum for a war party, which was kind of how I justified the half-orc raised by the orc side of his parentage but was still somehow a bard. And it all kind of ended up meshing in a really fun way. Like, he was a tremendously fun character to play. I've done a video drawing him because I loved that character so much. So anyway, this is gonna tell me what's in everything. We can look at that after. June marks the end of our first combo pack free extra event. So basically, I'm gonna start getting custom dice. There are the usual dice from a 7-piece set along with 3d6 for more fireball, an extra d4 for rolling healing potions, and an extra d20 for advantage and disadvantage rolls. So I'll be getting free dice in these instead of free tiles moving forward. Cool, that works. This, this month's pack looks like a lot of furniture. So let's see what we've got in here. This is some cool stuff. So. Right off the bat, we've got a couple of staircases. Those staircases are kind of neat. There's a wooden box with a removable lid. We got some benches. Let's see, some wooden discs. Actually, these are nice. I'm, I hope I get to use these as character bases, actually, because that'd be really cool. Oh, these are for the different bardic inspiration types. So normal Bardic Inspiration starts at D6. Here's a loot with D6 written on it. A, a uh, eighth note with D8. I think that's a loot, or no, not a loot, a zither or something with D10 on it. And then a treble clef with D12 written on it. So that's cool. So, so far it's been the furniture, those different markers and these things, but there's something wrapped in this paper, and I don't know what it is yet. There's a couple of somethings wrapped in this paper. Yes, they gave me characters. All right, here is... Is that a Bastet woman? Uh, some kind of catfolk woman with a tambourine and a very flowy dress. She's fun. Oh. A dwarf with bagpipes. That is cool. Got a bagpipe dwarf. And... Uh, looks like a human with a Robin Hood hat and a loot. That is cool. Okay. So I got some Bard College kind of scenery pieces and three Bards. This is this might be the best pack they put together. I love the quality on all of these. Okay, let's look how they name all this stuff. What is all this stuff? There's a mini romantic Bard. Okay. A mini dwarf Piper. There's Bardic Inspiration Tokens. There's a mini Tabaxi da Tabaxi, that's what it is, okay. Yeah, it's some of the unofficial supplements that call these Bastet, the Tabaxi, okay. A Stage and Storage Terrain Kit, okay. So I guess you could put this together as a stage where someone could perform with just benches out 
for the crowd. Okay, that is fun. I like that a lot. That is awesome. I, I'm loving that. Okay, cool. What would you do with, with these if you had this box and you were going to configure these into a single tabletop gaming scenario? I'd be curious to hear that. So go ahead and leave that down in the comments. I'll go through and read those. I'm curious what you guys think of all this. And uh, since I mostly do drawing videos on this channel most of the time, you can also leave in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me draw. And I would be a great favor for where I'm at right now. If you enjoyed the video, please, please share it with a friend who would also enjoy it. Right? Throw it up on your Facebook page, uh, put the link to the video in your Twitter, your Instagram, anything where you see friends and you're thinking, hey, the people I hang out with would probably love to see this. That helps me out tremendously with getting this channel out there and to the people who will actually enjoy what I'm doing here. So, um, if you don't mind doing that, that helps me out a lot. And I think that was everything I had to say here. So, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Later, y'all.